Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas, and today we are here with a giant Dollar Tree haul that is yet once again long overdue. No surprise, because my life is madness. Anyway, I uh, have to get it filmed today because there's so much going on, but I'm not going to bore you with the details of my insane life. I have managed to break everything down into category for you, so we are going to jump right in. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below just to say hi or whatever. And uh, without further ado, we're going to jump right in. The first category I'm going to do, and it seems like a rather large one, is going to be food and drink. All right, first item, I got two of these huge one-pound bags of Hampton Farms salted roasted peanuts in the shell. Two of them. I got a pack of cinnamon sticks. A uh, little man has been begging me to make rice pudding with him, so we're gonna do that. I got these little mini moon pies. You get six mini pies in there. I got it for little man for sweet treat for the month of October. I got a bag of these uh, Ellie's mini croissants for little sandwiches for little man's lunch. I got a bag of these uh, tortillas. It is a 12 count, also for little man's lunch. Now, I got a crazy amount of these. I got five boxes of these. You get 10 packs of little chocolate chip cookies. Let me tell you why, it's a whole big story as always. All right, so the story with this is, I am planning little man's birthday party for next month. And I thought these would be cute to put in the goodie bags because I'm like, nobody does that. And I need like 24 goodie bags or something and I thought this was so cool so I'm like all right I need over two boxes for this and then I was like this would make good Halloween candy anyway then what happened I found in another store and they're gone because they're with the party stuff I found little animal cracker packs the theme of his party is wild crats so I was like oh I feel like the animal crackers go better with that you know so now I have 50 bags of chocolate chip cookies, but I'll probably give them out for Halloween anyway. So, okay, cool. And then I got one box of these. These are chocolate sandwich cream cookies, 18 packs. I don't know. I have no idea how it's set up. Let's see. Okay, so it's two like little tiny mini ones in here. Perfect sweet treat for little man's lunches. And I only bought one box of those. These are all by Sobisk which is a product of India. And the expiration date on this is over a year, so we're good. I also got this for Little Man for some mornings, just one box. There's six pouches in here of Trix oatmeal. Fruit flavored oatmeal, and then a colorful crunchy topping. Then I got two boxes of these entertainment crackers. It's a variety pack three packets you get multi-grain water crackers and butter crisps 11 and a quarter ounces I was thinking Christmas Christmas Eve that I host at my house and I checked the date in the store to make sure that would work and it's July 2023 so we're good and these are made in Mexico then I got these little Yankees New York Yankees sour gum baseballs that. I don't think they have the Yankees logo on them or anything. I, don't know. I can't see the other side. But anyway, that's going to be thrown into my best friend's um, Christmas package. And we're best friends and I'm a Mets fan. Go figure. Anyway, thought it was cool. Then I was able to get some clearance food items, food and drink. So they had these little Chester's Poppers Cheddar Whirls. That was a lot. 25 cents. So I got two bags of those. I got these for Brett. They only had three left. So I got the three 50 cents each. Rockstar Pure Zero Silver Ice. I got these. These were also two for a dollar. Now they had a whole bunch of refrigerator and freezer stuff at two for a dollar. And I believe it is because I'll put it in my walkthrough, um, which I haven't filmed yet and I'm working backwards. but my stores are doing something with the freezer and refrigerator section and the last store I went to had a three four and five dollar frozen food section we don't have pluses over here yet I don't know so anyway I think it has something to do with that but they had um some of the lunchable varieties were 50 cents or you know the lunchables 
um, some of the uh, bags of shredded cheese and then some of the ice cream products. Oh, and a whole bunch of Hot Pockets were all two for a dollar. So I did get a whole bunch of those. Those are already in the freezer, but these were in the fridge when I bought them and they were two for a dollar. This front porch unsweetened tea, two for a dollar. And then I got these for little man, these little Dutch made cheese delicious crackers, seven ounce bucks. Then I got these two items, this Funfetti vanilla premium cupcake mix with Oreo cookie pieces. That was also a lot to say. And then they had this Funfetti vanilla frosting with fun with Oreo cookie pieces uh, to put on top. So I don't know, make a cake or cupcakes for fun. Then I got two of these Martinelli Little Man has never had Martinelli's before, so I know it's gonna be a life-changing experience. I love the glass bottles, but I was actually hoping for the plastic this time, so maybe I could put it in his lunchbox, but whatever, we'll drink it here. But I got two of those. And this is Best by June, 2025. I got myself a Kraft Classic Caesar. I got Little Man three, three packs of the Wanabana Mango and Banana No Sugar Added Fruit fruit puree a lot there's a lot there's a lot of words a lot of words then I got these coffees because I thought that would be cute to add into Christmas presents or something like that they're good until August of 2023 so it works totally for Christmas so they had Jim Beam ground original coffee these are four ounce bags so they had original and then they had a vanilla bourbon I think I passed on that because I don't know I'm weird with flavored coffees but we got that this amazing Junior's Most Fabulous Brooklyn Blend Medium Roast Ground Fluffy. So I got those. Very exciting. And I do believe that wraps up food and drinks. So we're going to move on to the next category. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of like mini categories, like little miscellaneous mini categories that I only have one or two items in. In like Tech, Pet, and Auto, I got a five pack of these Kodak AA batteries. And I got two of these. I gave one to my mom already and they had a different flavor as well. But they have these Beef Eaters Lickable Pureed Cat Treats in th like three little packets made in Thailand. This one is tuna. I can't remember what the other one was, maybe chicken. I did show them in the last walkthrough though. So my mom deals with like feral cats, like trap and release and all that stuff. And you know, she gets like friendly with them, which is amazing, but she likes to put things on her fingers so they can come and like lick them so she, she could pet them and stuff. So that's what I got that for her for. And this I got to put in uh, one of my friend's packages that is going out soon. And then kind of like crafty things. I only have two things. I got this. I'm looking for like food related washi tape and not spending five or $6 a roll just to put little man's antibacterial hand wipe on his stuff in his lunches. So they had this little macaron one with little smiley faces. I don't know. I was like, it's food. I don't know if he knows what it is. He probably does. He's had macarons, but anyway, so I got that. And I showed this in the walkthrough. This, what they call a pool noodle knife. That is fantastic. First of all, for my eBay, I do use pool noodles um, on like paintings or anything framed to do like the sides and stuff so i don't know that's cool but then i was also thinking i should have gotten two maybe i don't know i was also thinking isn't this a lettuce knife isn't it someone correct me if i'm wrong isn't a lettuce knife a plastic large serrated knife such as this i don't know so i was like maybe i'll try it for lettuce first <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't know but i got one all right so that was that little minuscule categories Next, I'm going to do accessories and apparel. Just a few things there. Little man was with me and really wanted these two tote bags. So we have this one. I think this is awesome. And he really wanted this one, of course. I do have another one that I've been wanting forever. And I hope I remember to show it to you because there's stuff in it. And the handle ripped a little. And now I have to E6000 it. But anyway, I always forget to show bags when I put stuff in it. Always. Then I got a few shirts. For Little Man, all for Little Man. We have this one, all style apparel and activewear made in Mexico, a little long sleeve, burgundy. I don't even care if I have repeat colors at this point because he destroys clothing. Like, I don't care. And then I got this little yellow v-neck Fruit of the Loom tee. 
so happy. Look, it's like me. we could match. And then I got this all style um, long sleeve red, which is actually perfect on several reasons. One of his school colors is red and he's starting Ninja Warrior classes next week and the colors there are red and black also, so perfect. And that's it on accessories and apparel. Next, I'm gonna do health and beauty. So the first thing I picked up in health and beauty is going into the gift stash. They have these Brookstone items, which I'm sure you've seen by now. And also I bought these uh, ages ago. So anyway, I got two of each set that I could find. So one is the two matte black nail clippers. And then the other one is this little clippers. Oh no, ugh, ugh, it came out of place, poo. <laughs> shoot i'm so ocd this is killing me right now and then if you and then the package is taped Ugh. anyway oh that is so unfortunate oh boy. all right i'll be okay anyway two of those this one this one's better so i'll just show you this one two of these yeah clippers scissors nail file then for myself, I got two. Now guys, I'm sorry about the background noise. Let me just tell you, we're running out of time. Um, we found out yesterday evening that, and we had somewhere to go. We found out yesterday evening that my new car is in because I ordered a new car and it said it has to be picked up no later than Monday. I'm filming this on Sunday and we have to go to my mom's tonight for a goodbye party for a family friend. So. Brett is doing my car right now, my old car, so I can turn it in. So you're hearing the vacuum and stuff. I'm sorry, but I have to like multitask because I'm running out of time. And mind you, tomorrow uh, our washing machine broke and was non-repairable. So I had to order a new washer and it's allegedly getting delivered tomorrow. So we have to go pick up my car after whenever the washer is done and all. It's it's a lot. Anyway, so please bear with the vacuums and I'm trying the best I can. When the generator kicks on and the power washer, I don't film and then I come back. But I apologize. Thank you. Okay, so these I got for myself uh, and I bought the wrong pack. <sighs> Whatever, I'll, I'll live. But what I really, I, I meant to get two of these packs because for some reason to me, this all black toothbrush is so aesthetically pleasing and I have one now and it just makes me happy every time I even see it in the toothbrush holder I don't know so I, I meant to get two maybe I can switch it I don't that's a lot of work for a toothbrush but that's what I meant to do really just for the all black obsessed so yeah all right then these products see he stopped okay these products these personal care products I got three different things so they have this uh, personal care 6.1 fluid ounce hair and body mist now they had three different kinds the third one was a citrus and I it smelled close to nothing but whatever you could smell was not good so these smell pretty good and um, this one is the better one and at the first store these were all gone and I know why because these, these these smell pretty pretty friggin good all right so these are made in Turkey and this one is Sweet Breeze, and this one is Summer Vibes. And uh, it's pretty cool, hair and body, yeah, okay. And this one is like a styling spray. It's Personal Care Sea Salt Hair Spritz Beautiful Beach Beautiful Style Jasmine in Organic Coconut 6.7 Fluid Ounce. It's like a, like a, like a scrunch, you know, like a, just a salt water styling spray type thing. But it smells pretty good too. Then, I purchased this for my mom. I got two. She's like, let me try it. I'll see. So I took one anyway. Um, but then you'll see in the walkthrough that will hopefully be posted prior to this at some point if I can get my act together. Then at another store later on, I saw the shampoo to this and the, um, what was the other? Gel. Light hold gel. And this Dermacil Labs gentle stuff for sensitive scalps six fluid ounces I thought that was cool right. then I got these because I thought they were gorgeous these BYS on the go palette nude complete with full-size mirror 
and it is just so cute. It's this little palette that would be like perfect for your purse. Perfect. Little man was with me. He wanted this. This is the RVO Lip Revolution. That is not my dog. Um, if you guys know Henny, you know that sounds way too small to be Henny anyway. Vanilla Bean. This is a new one. They always had coconut, but he begged me. Not begged me. He, all he had to do was ask. He's like, can we just get that just in case something happens to the one that's in my backpack now? <laughs> then they had these on clearance for 50 cents. Let's see if we can find out why this month. That's why, but whatever. These are the Value Health Allergy Relief 24 hours. So it's compared to Allegra. You only get four. But uh, a 50 cents a pack, I was like, yeah. So get your dog. She's not happy. Then also on clearance, because this month, Germex sanitizers. Uh, then for me, uh, I got another of these LA Colors um, Auto Black Eyeliners. And I got this Iman one because I've seen this a million times and never paid attention. Oh my goodness, get your dog. Do they not hear that? Brett's quiet, dog starts barking. Anyway. I never paid close enough attention because I saw like the brown and I just ignored it. This is a jet black eyeliner. Yeah. And it has the built-in sharpener in the cap. So I was like, yes. So I got that for me. Then these next items are also going to require a little bit of a story and a little bit of TMI. However, so uh, little man is um, new to the road of wiping himself after he uses the facilities. And... Um, if you have kids, you know, wipes are so much easier, right? Because they don't like tear and you don't put your finger through it. And you, you know. So he was slightly panicking because he's like, well, how am I going to do it at school? Like, I don't know how to do it at school because, you know, we only have toilet paper, obviously. And da, da, da. I said, I'm going to get you a little pack of wipes to put in your book bag with your he's got all other emergency stuff itchy cream because he has eczema, you know, chapstick, sanitizer, tissues, you know. So I said, I'm going to put it in there. And you just take it, discreetly go to the restroom and, you know, make sure to wash your hands and all of that. So I'm trying to look for the smallest pack possible for him. Now, <clears throat> first we found these. Okay, 36. And then I was thinking, this is a much smaller pack. It's 24, 24 wipes compared to Summer's Eve. It's feminine wipes, but you can put that on your backside. I'm thinking this and um, I might just like put a, put, use my label maker and put his name there. Like, I know it says it on the side too, but nobody's paying attention to that. But just whatever. So that's that's what I got that for. I, don't know. I was just trying to look for the smallest pack imaginable. Then I got a few of these for me. I got this P2 Minute Manny 60 Second. I thought it was, can you see that? It's like this, like, almost like a periwinkle. Really, really pretty blue. And then these are by uh, B Color. These nail art tapes. So they have silver and gold. So I got both. It is 22 yards. And it's nice and thin. I thought that was fun. All right. We're done with health and beauty. All right. The next category I'm going to get into is going to be housewares. If it's your first time tuning into my Dollar Tree hauls, housewares for me is everything from like home decor to plates and Tupperware and everything cleaning products etc all right so the first thing i got this this boogan head reusable food pouch squeezums and it's a two pack and you can fill it with whatever you want the super cool thing is that apparently these came with like a rack where you could slide six of them on there in the fridge that would have been cool if that shows up at Dollar Tree, I'll be super happy. However, by that time, if it ever does, these will probably be gone. And that's the way it always works. But I just got one pack of two to put like applesauce or something for little man. 
You can also do juices in there, it says too. The next thing I got were these uh, drain sticks. 24 sticks in ocean scent. They had a ton if you watched the last walkthrough. Made in China. It's just for odor, I think. You apply one a month. Yeah, reduces odor, keeps drains clean. I don't know. I got some uh, scrub buddies, imitation Brillo pads, 10 count. I got two of these two and a half gallon large slider bags. I use them for a lot of eBay stuff, so. And then next, I thought I got five, but I can only find four. These um, Essentials Children's Hangers five accounts um, in light blue. They had different colors, but I got light blue, whatever. For a little man. Next, I got this uh, large imitation command thing to for the eBay space to hang my, uh, I, I call it my body. I don't, it's like a torso, a male torso that goes against the wall for clothing. And uh, that's gonna go in its spot in the, in the eBay shed, Shebay shed. I got a 10 pack of the Surefresh square little mini containers um, because it, I have little man's sprinkles for his yogurts and stuff for his lunch boxes in almost like the sauce containers that look like they're disposable. Those ones that Dollar Tree also sells and I just wanna put them in permanent ones. And then I got three packs of the big ones of these, these Surefresh professional three packs of those uh, for my, uh, some of my cake and cookie decorating stuff. I wanna put them in here and then put them in a bigger Tupperware. I think that would be cool. Like, I'm gonna work it out. I got this vegetable and dip container with lid. I'm gonna give that to my uh, stepfather I, for his lunches. I think he might have a use for that. I got some uh, paper plates, 15 count because I needed paper plates. And then I went a little straw crazy. So I got these 12 count PBA free plastic reusable straws made in the US. Oh no, I'm sorry, designed in the USA, made in China. Then I got uh, these. I got another pack of these um, HIC Harold Imports four pack of bended steel straws with the brush. And then I got this, and now the sun's being weird, two pack of these super long steel straws with the brush. I was thinking like, like the Starbucks cups and stuff, you know, the like diamond cut ones, like if anything ever happens to that. I don't know if it'll fit because it's really big. But in any case, those big types of tumblers, that's what that's for. And I got some more of the super cool towels I found at another store. I got one pack of these. I think I'm gonna give these to my aunt that moved to Greece, that's staying in our house right now, um, next time I go to Greece. Cause I think that she would like it because she's originally from South Carolina also. So it's a two pack of these stitch and weft, 100% natural cotton, hello darling, and bless your heart. So cute, I think she'll really like that. So that is gonna remain until I go back to Greece next year, hopefully. And then I got this two pack that says, this is my happy place and no place like home. Thought it was cute. All right, I think, oh no. I was gonna say, I think that's it for housewives. No, there's a, there's a no, whole nother bag right here. Okay, right, then I got three of these. I, are the rolls pro smaller? Probably, I feel like they are, cause I don't know. Anyway, it alleges it's a bonus pack. I never compared numbers, uh, but it's six rolls of the toilet paper instead of the four. I don't know, so I got three packs of that. Next, I've been meaning to get one of these forever and I forget every time, so I'm so happy I finally remembered. One of these cookie sheets. Now, this is um, for little man's play area uh, to go with, I bought him a bucket of Greek magnetic letters, so, I wanted this for him to be able to, you know, do stuff. So that goes in his play area. I found one of these, I think it was left over. I'm not sure, it might've been from this year, I don't know, but it's the bonus pack of these containers and I've been wanting more for a little man's lunches. So I was very happy to find it. And I think the color's beautiful, that like turquoise, sea foamy turquoise. And then I got five of these with the lids. 
Um, this is also for little man's play area. I was thinking for like, he's got like sets of things, you know, like, like figures, you know, like, I don't know, like Peppa Pig figures or, you know, like that. So, uh, I don't know, just to, to organize and then put them in a bigger bin. So that's another huge project I have uh, taken on. So little man's stuff was taking over my living room um, and I couldn't handle it anymore. I don't know how I handled it this long. So downstairs in our, like, what was our like gaming area with a dartboard, foosball table and stuff like that. Um, I decided to take the foosball table and move it into the garage which will work a little better once I organize the garage, which also still has to be done because if you watched, you know I cut off half of my garage for the conversion for the Shebae shed. When I did that, I sold my ping pong table that was in one side of the garage. So the ping pong table's gone, but I figured the foosball table's good out there too, and I didn't want to get rid of it. I like foosball. So I moved the foosball table into the garage, and now that area downstairs is being all transformed into little man's play area I got all the little like cubby storage things the cube storage and I'm just I'm working on it in between the million and one other things I'm doing so yes that okay and then um I lucked out and found three left of these and I got it and I think it's amazing it is Otoban disinfectant fabric and air freshener 27 fluid ounces so, uh, kills 99.99% .99 of germs, multi-purpose cleaner. I don't know. Anyway, so you can use it on kitchens, bathrooms, diaper pails, mattresses, all that. I got it since it says fabric and air freshener and disinfectant. I got it to spray little man's, uh, backpack and like coat when that time comes. Cause I use, uh, the Tide one right now and I don't, I don't know. I was like, this is probably good for that. So. Yeah, got three of those. I got myself this for next month. This little breast cancer water bottle, PBA free. I just got the one with the ribbons. I uh, They do have several and two different types. And that is in the walk walkthrough, which is not put together yet or uploaded. But it will be when you watch this, if I can get it together. Then... This is from the baby section, but I threw it into housewares. I saw these and in the baby section, and I've seen them before, but as I was walking by, I'm like, oh, these would be really cute for little man's lunches also. So, you know, other than the unicorn one, but you know, zebra, giraffe, dinos, and you get two of each of those. Well, two of each of all of them. It's an eight pack, super cute. And they're so cheap. If he loses one, it's no big deal. And then I got a Comet antibacterial spray cleaner. And the last bits of stuff in here. I got two of each of the items I'm about to show you. One is for little man. That is love right there. If you know me at all, if, you, if you've if you watched me, Brett is a Giants fan. I am a Cowboys fan. It's a very interesting time on Sundays in this house. Anyway, uh, so they had these that I showed in the last walkthrough. Three different types. And then I was like, I need to get a set for my best friend, the Yankees fan, she's also a Giants fan. So it's a two pack of these. And then a sandwich box. And then this little vented one. So cute. And it's little red, like football, see them? Okay. Yeah, two sets of those. Oh, one more thing, sorry. There's four items and this one. Yeah, very cute. I'm impressed. If you're local, I only found them um, in Lake Grove. That is the end of housewares. Let's move on to the next category. Luckily, we're almost done because this, anyway, I can't win today. Anyway, the next category I'm gonna get into is like toys, entertainment type stuff. The first thing I got, which is a repurchase for sure, I got another one of these little make it blocks, like Lego type storage boxes that has the four walls in between because I was thinking I want to try like a Lego lunch for little man. And I thought this would make a super cute bento box. And I have the little 
four pack of them as well that um, was in the party favor section, if you remember, like the primary color ones. So I already have two things. Now I know they had like birthday napkins and plates, etc. but wouldn't you know it, now that I've decided there's two stores I went to, nothing, not a single Lego party item. Oh well. And I've also seen online little Lego picks. So I'll get those as well and we're gonna make it happen. Then I found one of these, just one. I'm wondering if the retail is back here, hold on. Wow. Okay, the retail on this is $12.95. It's by quirkbooks.com, copyright 2008. It says, color me fierce with six glamorous crayons written and illustrated by Nike Decease, a fashion activity book. I don't know. I, I don't know. It just looks super fun and like a great deal for $1.25. So that's either for me or a gift. I don't know. Then this is also technically a toy too. These Turbo Wheels collector showcase that you can do either your little like Lego figures or Hot Wheels or whatever. But I got this and one more item that's in another category. Uh, to try because in the tool bench section months ago when they had the large cases I should have done it then but I always think of things too late and miss miss the appropriate item whatever but I got this and one more thing that you'll see in a minute to do snackle boxes for a little man for car trips you know like a tackle box but snacks um, non-perishables and you just separate them all out I can use my silicone liners or paper liners also if I need to. And um, they have them for when they want in the back seat. Raisins, pretzels, thing, you know, whatever. Goldfish. And it just, uh, just, just opens and there are six compartments in this one. There are two holes here and here. So just be aware of that on the bottom. Then I saw this movie and I'm like, wait a second, wasn't this like a famous movie? I feel like it was. Like, I felt like I heard a lot of people talking about it. So, Oculus. And it's October time. So, have my mom take little man for a sleepover and Brett and I can do date night and order Thai food or sushi. My favorite type of date night. Then I got this for little man because he loves Miraculous. It's a Miraculous coloring book, which I'm really surprised at. Made in the USA by Benden. Then I have a whole bunch of these, probably too many, but who knows? Better to have them than need them. So uh, I grabbed every Wild Kratz item I could find in four stores, honestly, for goodie bags for little man's Wild Kratz birthday party. And then I got him these two Berenstain Bears puzzles because I thought they were so cute. So rainy weekend activity. And this one. So cute. And then I got six packs of these. These little wild creatures, wild animals. Um, because... I figured I can put two each into the goodie bags. That's if everybody shows. And let me not forget to show you the bag that I need to now E6000 the handle because it's coming unstitched. This one. Is this not adorable? This Peanuts one. And then the black line is like Charlie Brown's shirt. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. All right, that's the end of toys and entertainment. Next, we're gonna do office supplies, teaching tree, et cetera, et cetera. Let me show you the, the secondary option for the snackle box. I just got one of these jot organizers. I wonder if crackers could, probably not, whatever. Anyway, it's another snackle box option. Lots of different compartments there. I got these, it's only nine, nine 3D Mickey stickers because I do plan on doing a Mickey lunch for little man at some point this year. 
I got these for Brett, these Bic Intensity Dry Erase Markers in red and blue. Apparently kids have to sign in or something and he's color coded his schools and needs red and blue, so perfect. Oh, then these are by the register and I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't. Look at the coffee one. Oh my goodness. And then I thought the pizza one was adorable. So I thought little man might like that. Then I got a bunch of the 10 counts of cards for lunch notes. So I got Keep Shining with the light bulb. I got the little cement truck. I meant to get the little race car too. So hopefully they still have them when I go back. I got the Dream Big Rainbow and the Kindness Matters Globe. Then I got this for Little Man. This is a two-piece educational posters on fractions and place value. Figured I would get him started on that. It says grades one through three. And the last thing in this category, this Wild Kratz, go figure, educational workbook. Anatomy, drawing, and habitat facts. All right, let's move on to the next category. I have two options here, in the shadows or... We only have two categories left, so we're gonna be okay. The next category is party, I would say. So the first thing is I found the 35 count tissue paper instead of the normal 24. So I grabbed a bunch because I was out. I can't even believe it, but yes, completely out. Then I went to go look for um, something to use as a thank you card after little man's birthday party. And I was hoping that they still had the blank leopard print note cards that they had forever, but no, no more. And I don't have enough laying around to be able to, to do, do it with them. So, um, but I did find this, you only get six because it's like foil. Um, and these are still a dollar, by the way, I saw it when she, when she rang it up. So that was cool. Cause I thought they would, were, were going to be a dollar 25. Um, but I got uh, four packs of these and they're uh, blank inside, just red foil with the thanks. I got these only because this is the best thing that they had that'll be able to work. I ordered um, a round Wild Krat sticker. So I'll just put that on there when I mail them out and I think that'll work just fine. And then while I was looking for those, I stumbled across these and I was like, are you kidding me? So I had to get them for me. These are also a six pack of thank you cards, blank inside, and they have the adorable little kitties on there. I can't even stand it. Oh my goodness. Okay, last category is going to be Halloween and seasonal. Let's bang it out. First thing, some window clings. I got this one. I got this one with the glitter. this one and this one because I thought it was cute then um, this is in Halloween technically this is in Halloween technically I had to enunciate that to make sure you understood but I just wanted it because it's purple so I got a purple wreath hanger and then little man wanted this, these uh, glow in the dark pumpkin teeth for our jack-o'-lanterns. And then he requested this bag of 50 um, skulls and bats rings. Okay, next I got two packs of really pretty napkins. I got the long ones with the beautiful pumpkins. I love that, that turquoise or whatever that is. And then some leaves. I don't know. I'll probably give them both to my mom for Thanksgiving at her house. And then if you guys watched the last haul, if you remember, 
my debacle with these bracelets. I found them at another store and now I have them. So if, if you missed it, um, I wanted these for to do little goodie bags for little man's class, like just for fun as one of the items. And I found one randomly at a store and then couldn't find any more. But I needed two more bags and I found them at another store. They're these little plastic, like, you know, rubber barbed wire bracelets. So now we're good. I got this scarf for myself. It is an infinity scarf. And look at all the truck variations. I love it. And I will be wearing that. Then I found these the other day in Shirley. If you're local, I was like, what? This is a lace table runner in the Halloween section. It is a mystery length. It doesn't say, but look, oh my goodness. That is fantastic. So I got two of them. Then I grabbed a pack of these necklaces. You get four, two of them are orange. It's little skull and bones um, because little man school around Halloween does like the whole week. Like, you know, one is like a sock day. One is a necklace day. One is like a headband day and pajama day and then leads up to the costume, I guess. I don't know, but I don't want to scramble this time. So I'm going to be prepared. So I got the necklaces. Then I got these goodie bags for his class. I thought they were so cute. I love them. Yeah. And you get 20 in there and they're 20 in his class. So then I got this for little man's lunches, these napkins, there's 24 in here. And I got these for me because I fell in love very, very Edgar Allan Poe to me. These plates and napkins, which I am 99% sure these are new this year because I would have freaked out and gotten them if I saw them last time. Yes, 24 napkins, 18 plates. And the very last thing in this haul, I got four packs of these because I need 20, but anything extra, I'm just going to put in my um, Halloween candy bowl for trick-or-treaters. So whatever. Um, these little slinkies, actually little man picked these out. He said he wanted to put these in his class's goodie bags. So we got four packs of six Halloween slinkies. That is that. That is this ginormous Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you stayed till the end, you're a real one. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you. And we tend to have a lot of fun here. I want to apologize specifically for this video, for all the background noise. I appreciate your patience in, in dealing with it because I'm sure it was, uh, it was annoying for me. So I'm sure it was annoying for you, but I'm sorry. Um, time is time so but we're done so much appreciation to you all uh, until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you